In geography, the antipodes of any place on Earth is the point on the Earth's surface which is diametrically opposite to it. Two points that are antipodal to each other are connected by a straight line running through the center of the Earth. In the Northern Hemisphere, the antipodes is often used to refer to Australia and New Zealand, and antipodeans to their inhabitants. Geographically the antipodes of Britain and Ireland are in the Pacific Ocean, south of New Zealand. This gave rise to the name of the Antipodes Islands of New Zealand, which are close to the Antipodes of London at about 50 a degree s 179 a degree e. The Antipodes of Australia are in the North Atlantic Ocean, while parts of Spain, Portugal, and Morocco are antipodal to New Zealand. Approximately 15% of land territory is antipodal to other land, representing approximately 4.4% of the Earth's surface. The largest antipodal land masses are the Malay Archipelago, antipodal to the Amazon Basin and adjoining Andean Ranges. East China and Mongolia, antipodal to Chile and Argentina. And Greenland and the Canadian Arctic Archipelago, antipodal to East Antarctica. Geography the antipodes of any place on the Earth is the place that is diametrically opposite it, so a line drawn from the one to the other passes through the center of the Earth and forms a true diameter. For example, the antipodes of New Zealand's lower North Island lies in Spain. Most of the Earth's land surfaces have ocean at their antipodes, this being a consequence of most land being in the land hemisphere. An antipodal point is sometimes called an antipode, a back formation from the plural antipodes, which in Greek is the plural of the singular antipas. The antipodes of any place on Earth are distant from it by 180 a degree of longitude and as many degrees to the north of the equator as the original is to the south. In other words, the latitudes are numerically equal, but one is north and the other south. The map shown above is based on this relationship. It shows a Lambert as a muffle equal area projection map of the Earth, in yellow, overlaid on which is another map, in blue, shifted horizontally by 180 a degree of longitude and inverted about the equator with respect to latitude. Noon at the one place is midnight at the other and, with the exception of the tropics, the longest day at one point corresponds to the shortest day at the other, and midwinter at one point coincides with midsummer at the other. Sunrise and sunset do not quite oppose each other at antipodes due to refraction of sunlight. Mathematical description, if the geographic coordinates of a point on the Earth's surface are, then the coordinates of the antipodal point are. This relation holds true whether the Earth is approximated as a perfect sphere or as a reference ellipsoid. In terms of the usual way these geographic coordinates are given, this transformation can be expressed symbolically as, Za degree n s r degree e w a a za degree s n r degree with e, that is, for the latitude the magnitude of the angle remains the same but n is changed to s and vice versa, and for the longitude the angle is replaced by its supplementary angle while e is exchanged for w. For example, the antipodes of the point in China at 37 a degree n 119 a degree e is the point in Argentina at 37 a degree s 61 a degree w. Etymology the Greek word is attested in Plato's dialogue Timaeus, already referring to a spherical earth, explaining the relativity of the terms above and below. For if there were any solid body in equipoise at the center of the universe, there would be nothing to draw it to this extreme rather than to that, for they are all perfectly similar. And if a person were to go round the world in a circle, he would often, when standing at the antipodes of his former position, speak of the same point as above and below. For, as I was saying just now, to speak of the whole which is in the form of a globe as having one part above and another below is not like a sensible man. A Euro Plato. The term is taken up by Aristotle, Strabo, Plutarch, and Diogenes Lacius, and was adopted into Latin as antipodes. The Latin word changed its sense from the original under the feet, opposite side to those with the feet opposite that is a Bahuvanai referring to hypothetical people living on the opposite side of the earth. Medieval illustrations imagine them in some way inverted, with their feet growing out of their heads, pointing upward. In this sense, Antipodes first entered English in 1398 in a translation of the 13th century De Proprietatibus Rerum by Bartholomeus Anglicus, translated by John of Trevisa. 
yond in Ethiopia ben the Antipodes, men that haul their fate against our fate. In modern English, yonder in Ethiopia are the Antipodes, men that up their feet against our feet. Historical significance, Pomponius Mela, the first Roman geographer, asserted that the earth had two habitable zones, a north and south one, but that it would be impossible to get into contact with each other because of the unbearable heat at the equator. From the time of St. Augustine, the Christian Church was skeptical of the notion of the idea of the Antipodes. Augustine asserted that it is too absurd to say that some men might have set sail from this side and, traversing the immense expanse of ocean, have propagated their race of human beings descended from that one first man. In the early Middle Ages, Isidore of Seville's widely read encyclopedia presented the term Antipodes as referring to Antichthones, as well as to a geographical place. These people came to play a role in medieval discussions about the shape of the earth. In 748, in reply to a letter from St. Boniface, Pope Zachary declared the belief that beneath the earth there was another world and other men, another sun and moon to be heretical. In his letter, Boniface had apparently maintained that Virgilius of Salzburg held such a belief. The Antipodes being an attribute of a spherical earth, some authors used their perceived absurdity as an argument for a flat earth. However, knowledge of the spherical earth was widespread during the Middle Ages, only occasionally disputed a euro the medieval dispute surrounding the Antipodes mainly concerned the question whether people could live on the opposite side of the earth, since the torrid climb was considered impassable, it would have been impossible to evangelize them. This posed the problem that Christ told the apostles to evangelize all mankind. With regard to the unreachable Antipodes, this would have been impossible. Christ would either have appeared a second time, in the Antipodes, or left them damned irredeemable. Such an argument was forwarded by the Spanish theologian Alonso Tostado as late as the 15th century and St. Augustine doubts was a response to Columbus's proposal to sail westwards to the Indies. The author of the Norwegian book Nungskuggsjall, from around 1250, discusses the existence of Antipodes. He notes that they will see the sun in the north in the middle of the day and that they will have opposite seasons of the people living in the northern hemisphere. The earliest surviving account by a European who had visited the southern hemisphere is that of Marco Polo. He noted that it was impossible to see the star Polaris from there. The idea of dry land in the southern climes, the Terra Australis, was introduced by Ptolemy and appears on European maps as an imaginary continent from the 15th century. In spite of having been discovered relatively late by European explorers, Australia was inhabited very early in human history. The ancestors of the indigenous Australians reached it at least 50,000 years ago. Air travel between Antipodes, there are no non-stop scheduled flights between any two antipodal locations by commercial airline service Euro, or anything even close. The longest non-stop scheduled flight was the discontinued Singapore Airlines Flight 21 between Newark, New Jersey and Singapore, covering 15,343 km in about 18.5 hours flight time, and this was far from a journey between nearly antipodal locations. While a flight between antipodal locations by non-supersonic travel might present difficulties for passengers, Airlines assign relief crew members to assume their primary pilot positions for designated portions of long-haul flights, allowing those pilots to rest or sleep. List of Antipodes, Earth Around 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans, and 7 eighths of the Earth's land is confined to the land hemisphere, so the majority of locations on land do not have land-based Antipodes. The two largest human inhabited antipodal areas are located in East Asia and South America. The Australian mainland is the largest land mass with its antipodes entirely in ocean, although some locations of mainland Australia and Tasmania are close to being antipodes of islands in the North Atlantic Ocean. The largest land mass with antipodes entirely on land is the island of Bonio, whose antipodes are in the Amazon rainforest. Cities Exact or almost exact antipodes, Christchurch a euro a corridor plus or minus a, Hamilton a euro car cubed r d o b a, Hong Kong a euro la quiaca, Junan a euro lianian gang, Padang a euro esmeraldas, Palembang a euro neva, 
Rafaela Euro Wu, Segovia Euro Masterton, Toranga Euro Jaw Copyright N, Ulana de Euro Puerto Natals, Valdivia Euro Y, Wangare Euro Tangier, to within 100 km, with at least one major city, Xina Euro Santiago, or more precisely Rancagua or San Bernardo, Auckland Euro Seville, Citenil de las Bodegas and Malaga, Tianjin Euro Baja Blanca, Shanghai Euro Salto, Taipei Euro Asuncia Cube Den, Nanjing Euro Rosario, Montpellier Euro Wei Tanji, Beijing Euro Baja Blanca, Taiwan is partly antipodal to the province of Formosa in Argentina. Other major cities or capitals close to being Antipodes, Beijing Euro Buenos Aires, both cities have populations in the millions, and have been twins since 1983, a few hundred km, Shanghai a Euro Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires is actually closer to the antipode of Shanghai than to the antipode of Beijing, the latter being located at 540 a km from Buenos Aires, Bogotá a Euro Jakarta, 200 a km, Guayaquil a Euro Medan, 220 a km, Phnom Penh a Euro Lima, 220 a km, Dili a Euro Para Maribo, 310 a km, Irkutsk a Euro Punta Arenas, Tonghuan a Euro Lakanta Copyright N, Suva a Euro Timbuktu, Melbourne and Canberra, Azores, Atlantic Ocean, Cherbourg a Euro Antipodes Islands, Pago Pago a Euro Zinda, Barranquilla a Euro Christmas Island, Doha a Euro Pitcairn Island, Huey Copyright and Da Nang a Euro Are Keeper. Manila Euro Kiba Kuala Lumpur Euro Cuenca, San Juan Euro Carada, Limerick Euro Campbell Islands, Arrecife, Lanzarote Euro Norfolk Island, Sharm el Sheikh Euro Rapati, Bangkok Euro Lima, Quito Euro Singapore, Perth Euro Hamilton, Montevideo Euro Seoul, Cities and Geographic Features, Gibraltar is approximately antipodal to Tei Beach about 85 km north of Auckland, New Zealand. This illustrates the old yet correct saying that the sun never sets on the British Empire. The sun still does not set on the British Commonwealth. The northern part of New Caledonia, an overseas territory of France, is antipodal to some thinly populated desert in Mauritania, a part of the former French West Africa. Portions of Suriname, a former Dutch colony, are antipodal to Sulawesi, an Indonesian island spelled Celebes when it was part of the Netherlands East Indies. Luzon Island in the Philippines is antipodal to eastern Bolivia. As with the British Empire, the sun set neither on the French Empire, the Dutch Empire, nor the Spanish Empire at their peaks. Santa Vita Cubed Rio do Palma, the most southerly town of more than 10,000 people in Brazil, is antipodal to Jeju Island, the southernmost territory of South Korea. The Big Island of Hawaii is antipodal to the Okavango Delta in Botswana with the island's largest city, Hilo, antipodal to NXAI Pan National Park. Easter Island is antipodal to Desert National Park, 35 a km from Jaisama, India. Desolate Kerguelen Island is antipodal to an area of thinly inhabited plains on the border between the Canadian provinces of Alberta and Saskatchewan and the U.S. state of Montana. The Heard Island and MacDonald Islands, an uninhabited Australian territory is antipodal to an area in central Saskatchewan, including the towns of Leask and Shellbrook. St. Paul Island and Amsterdam Island are antipodal to thinly populated parts of the eastern part of the U.S. state of Colorado. South Georgia Island is antipodal to the northernmost part of Sulkhalin Island. Lake Baikal is partially antipodal to the Straits of Magellan. The Russian Antarctic research base Belyingshausen Station is antipodal to a land location in Russian Siberia. Rotnest Island, off the coast of Western Australia, is approximately antipodal to Bermuda. Flores Island, the westernmost island of the Azores, is nearly antipodal to Flinders Island between Tasmania and the Australian mainland. Point Nemo, the point in the South Pacific Ocean most distant from any other land, is precisely opposite a desolate piece of desert in western Kazakhstan. By definition, the North Pole and the South Pole are antipodes. As can be seen on the purple-blue map, the Pacific Ocean is so large that it stretches halfway around the world. 
parts of the Pacific off the coast of Peru or antipodal to parts of the same ocean off the coast of Southeast Asia. Countries, the following countries are opposite more than one other country. Countries matching up with just one other country are Morocco, Spain, Portugal, Chad, Libya, Cameroon, Egypt, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Senegal, UAE, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Burkina Faso, Guinea, India, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, and Thailand, Singapore, Brunei, Palais, Micronesia, Venezuela, Suriname. Of these, the larger countries which are entirely antipodal to land are the Philippines, Malaysia, Taiwan, Fiji, Vanuatu, Brunei, and Samoa. Chile was as well prior to its expansion into the Atacama with the War of the Pacific. Other bodies, Calaris Basin Weird Terrain, Mare Orientale, Mare Marginis, Mare Umbrium, Mare Ingenii, Argia Planitia, Utopia Planitia, in popular culture, in 2006, Zay Frank challenged viewers of his daily week cast the show with Zay Frank to create an Earth sandwich by simultaneously placing two pieces of bread at antipodal points on the Earth's surface. The challenge was successfully completed by viewers in Spain and New Zealand. The May 19, 2008, official Lost Audio podcast gave credence to a theory that the island is located at Tunisia's antipode, in the South Pacific east of New Zealand. On the popular TV show Angel, the deeper well is a hole that goes through the world, with its entrance in the Cotswolds in England and its antipode in New Zealand. New Zealand writer Mark Price undertook a tour in 2005 a Euro 06 of the length of New Zealand and its land antipodes in Morocco and Spain, from Karakiri 35 a degree 13 a Euro squared 01.4 a Euro cubed s 173 a degree 57 a Euro squared 46.6 a Euro cubed e to cathedral square, Christchurch 43 a degree 31 a Euro squared 52.2 a Euro cubed s 172 a degree 38 a Euro squared 08.8 a Euro cubed e. An episode of the fourth series of the science fiction television series Torchwood refers to Shanghai and Buenos Aires as being antipodes of each other. The tenth and final episode notes more precisely that they are perfect antipodes while acknowledging that is only accurate give or take a hundred miles or so. A common misconception, often expressed in North American pop culture, is that if one were to burrow through the center of the earth, one would come out in China, hence the phrase dig a hole to China. In fact only portions of South America are antipodes with China. The term China Syndrome takes its name from this misconception. See also, Antichthones, Antipodal Point, Antipodes Islands, Climb, Pole of Inaccessibility, Spherical Earth, References. External links, Antipodes Map Interactive Map which draws a tunnel to the other side of the world. Earth Sandwich Map Dual Image Map to locate the antipodes of any location on Earth. Find Latitude and Longitude, Interactive Tool to Show Antipodes, 3D Dual Globe Schematic 3D Representation of the Earth and the Anti-Earth on the Same Place. Map Tunneling Tool Tunnel to the Other Side of the Earth, Calculate the Other Side of the World, Antipodes an online and photographic project which pairs webcam images from places on opposite sides of the globe. Map Tunneler find out what part of the Earth is directly below you using the interactive maps.